Flexworthy.com and MeViral.com. This is the UFC breakdown and predictions for UFC 220 Miocic versus Nganu. And we're going to start right at the motherfucking top. Best believe this is a racial acceptance zone. Everybody gets an N-word pass on this channel. And make sure I also put a link on where you can stream the fight. Even though you shouldn't stream it, you should actually go out and watch it. And sometimes the stream isn't good. But it's definitely good for basketball games. And it's also good for fight nights. But I'll leave it in there anyways. But... Go out and support and buy it. Go to the bar. I always go to the bar. I go to City Tap. So if you're in Cleveland, Ohio, and you want to come talk shit with me in person, I'll definitely be at City Tap because I always go there to watch the fights. And I usually watch those motherfuckers from top to bottom. And this one probably is an exception. So let's start off with the shit that you motherfuckers care about. And that's Miocic versus Nganu. I see this going to Nganu first round or beginning of the second knockout or TKO because I went back and I seen Stipe fight um, Stefan Struve and Stefan Struve didn't really point blank knock him out. He got a TKO over him. So, and if Overeem can land on him and put Stipe on his ass, what you think Nganu is going to do? And, you know, now that I'm aware, I've seen some interviews where Nganu, um, he's aware that Stipe is going to wrestle him. So he's come prepared for that shit. So when you're prepared for that shit, come on. He's going to do what's right here. He's going to stuff everyone and lay a trap for him. And I love Stipe. I'm in Cleveland. I'm a Cavalier. I'm fortunately, I'm a Brown. I'm an Indian. And I'm so upset that I might be losing our champion. If he win, congratulations. Yes, he's the, we got the best heavyweight of UFC history in Cleveland, Ohio. But if he loses, ah, what did y'all fucking expect? What y'all fucking expect? Motherfucker's a big black gorilla. You know what I'm saying? And then when y'all come back, y'all can call them all type of niggers and shit. I get it. I completely get it. Trust me. Okay. Second, Daniel Cormier versus Vulcan Uzdemir. Um, do you think that Cormier really got knocked out or was that like a TKO? And if he got knocked out, he that means he's going to be a bit chinny coming into this fight in which Uzdemir can actually land a good flush one on him. We all know that DC pressure. If he doesn't need to do the towel thing on the scale, he's going to fuck Uzumir up. No exceptions. I'm going to say third round, if not second, TKO or maybe rear naked choke this man. He will give his back up. If it's not, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go because I'm, I'm doubling over. I'm going to go with. The TKO. No, 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 no. The submission. Submission by Cormier, second round, no later than the third. And hopefully he don't get knocked out. So um, let me go back to Miocic. Uh, the reality section for Miocic, if you're going to bet the reality section, I would say you should probably bet in Ghana. Uh, first round TKO or knockout flat. Reality section. For Cormier and Uzumir, reality section is, um, yeah, Cormier. Now, who is this other dude? Calvin Guitar and Shane Burgle. I don't even know these motherfuckers. Shane looks cooler, so we're going to go with Shane via corny-ass decision. Um, Gan Vellante. I'm gonna I wanna I wanna I want him to I wanna go with him but I don't go against Brazilians bro I don't go against Brazilians and you know he do he fight with Matt Sarah he trained with Matt Sarah he at the Sarah Longo gym you know he he could come in here in prime shape they always come up with good game plans always come up with good game plans um so Brazilian I'm gonna go with Brazilian but uh, Jane should win, uh, I want to say probably by a third round TKO or a decision. Thomas Almeida and Rob Font. Let's go. Okay. I am torn between a black guy and a fucking Brazilian right now. So, I like Thomas Almeida. I loved him when he was undefeated. And um, I am... I think he has an upper hand in this fight. I think if Rob Font don't catch him and knock him the fuck out, 
Almeida can win in any fashion that he wants. Reality section, Almeida wins uh, via submission, third round, if not second. What should happen is uh, Rob Font should TK on. But I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going with Rob Font. I'm going with Rob Font. I don't usually go against my Brazilians. I'm torn. What can I say? I'm fucking torn, dude. What the fuck? Okay. Kyle and Brandon Davis. Um. Oh, this is a featherweight. I like a Brandon Davis leg tattoo. I'm going with Brandon Davis. I don't know nothing about these two guys. Okay, so we got Abdul Raka Al Hassan, and uh, he's from Guyana. Saba Homasi. He's an Arabic from the USA. He, you know, Arabic's been doing bad since 9/11, so um, he got a lot to fight for. This is crazy. It's a crazy fight right here. Uh, 170. What's up with these fit dudes? Woodley is in a terrible division, man. I'm going to go with the guy on and Got to go with him. He, he looks... This is like Africa night, okay? I'm surprised Usman didn't want to fight on this card. This is Africa night, for real. Ortiz. Um, but... For that last fight, I didn't know. I don't know neither of them, so um, I'm not even. I, I don't know what to say. Now this one, Dustin Ortiz versus uh, Alexandre Pajonta, whatever. I don't go against Brazilian, so I have to root for my Brazilian. But Dustin Ortiz should win by um, decision. He should win by decision. He's going to beat his ass too. It's going to be a unanimous decision. But what I want to happen is Dustin Ortiz to get choked out in the third round. That's what I would like to see happen. And we got two gray. Dan Ag versus uh, Julio Ars. Julio looks black. I'm rooting for him. Um, he'll probably lose because I'm rooting for him. Don't know nothing about him. And uh, we got Matt Bessett and Enrique Bar... Whatever the hell. He's from Peru. I don't know a lot of good fighters from Peru, man. So, obviously I'm rooting for him. And uh, he'll probably lose by uh, TKO. This Matt guy looks like he got a lot to prove. He need a check bad as fuck. Alright, now we're in the early prelims. Early prelims. What is this girl's name? Myrana Marzols and Jamie Mayo. Um, Ukraines, man. Ukraines, they know how to fight. That's a that's a brutal country right there. I'm more than sure they they tuning her ass up to fight well. So I'm gonna go with Jamie because she's cuter. This other girl got that. Now, if you think Joanna's cute, if you think Joanna's cute, I mean. She aight, she aight, she aight, she aight, she aight, she not ugly. Joanna's cute when she wants to be. Uh, Jamie's cuter, so I'm going to go with her. Come fight night, she's going to be way more sexier than the other one. Now, Glycin Tibu and uh, Islam. I'm going to go, this is Brazil versus Russia. I'm going to go with Glycin. Um, right now, uh, Islam, he got a lot to prove on him because of Khabib. So people going to be looking at you like, come on, bruh. You know, we got a Russia car coming up. You need to be kind of looking good right now. So, but uh, I'm going to say Glyson's going to win via TKO second round. Dude might come out doing some stupid shit. And let me change that. TKO first round reality section. Glyson Tibu wins by decision. And that wraps up UFC 220. If you want to come watch with me in Cleveland, Ohio, I will be at City Tap downtown. And of course, the city will be going crazy. Make sure you follow me on all social medias. And I definitely follow back. Get in the comment section. If you got a problem with anything I said, I will definitely respond. If you won't at me, it ain't real. And makes best believe it's all good. We all fight fans and we just want good fights. So make sure y'all get in the comment section. And uh, I will see y'all with the next breakdown of news that I do. Ah.